So here's a car you can't actually buy from the dealer. It's the 2023 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon 170. Now, for those of you who saw the last call video reveal, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This Dodge, it is the last of the internal combustion engine lineage of this storied Dodge Mark. There's only 3,300 that Dodge are about to build, and they've all essentially been accounted for. The only chance you will have to take this incredible collector car home if you're the winning bidder on Saturday when the Demon goes across the block, all for a good cause. The Demon is powered by a 6.2 litre V8 D170 with a 3 litre supercharger delivering 1,025 horsepower. Unbelievable. It's fitted with rear body flares, SRT performance spoiler and HID headlights. Now here's where it gets interesting. The winning bidder will be able to select all factory options including a custom exterior paint colour making this Demon 170 a true one of one car. But the real power of this Demon comes from its ability to change lives. 100% of proceeds from the auction of this vehicle will go to support Christie House, which provides treatment, advocacy and coordination of services of all forms of child trauma. That is the 15th edition of the Barrett Jackson auction here in Las Vegas. Been coming here for quite some time, enjoying all the scenery, all the fun, and of course, all the cars crossing the block. Let's check in with Christian Murphy. Thank you very much, Rick. I mean, yesterday you introduced me as the Aussie import, and it made me feel sort of sad and lonely. So I scoured the Barrett Jackson halls here in Las Vegas to find the perfect Aussie to join me here. Uh, let me introduce you to my friend Nick. Perhaps you're familiar with some of her work. Nicole Kimmon, what a wonderful surprise to see you here. So happy to be here. I came here yesterday with my husband, Keith. He's doing his, um, his Vegas residency right now. So he was playing last night, he's playing tonight, he's playing next week. So I'm like, what do I do when I'm in Vegas? And thus I'm here now auctioning a car for Christie House. I love it. Now rumour has it that Keith lined up his Las Vegas residency dates just so he could come to Barrett Jackson. Is that really true? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a big car guy, right? He's a big car guy, yeah. And they tell me he watches the broadcast a bit, right? He's what? He watches the broadcast a bit? He does, yeah. We actually both watch it. It's very relaxing for me. He is obviously more watching and watching numbers and watching the prices and everything. And I just sit back and listen to the sound and say, that's a pretty car. And that's I think, a sexy car. <laughs> and I think through Keith, you've become a car girl, right? Yeah, I like, well, I, I understand a little bit more about them now. I, I literally was, I mean, I knew nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, but now I know a little more, and I know what some of these cars go for now, and I can kind of predict prices. Uh, How's uh, that? Now, this is your first time at Barrett Jackson? Yes. Excellent. Yeah, we'd like to go to the Scottsdale, Arizona oh, one. Maybe right? we should do a charity car yeah. at Scottsdale, you and Keith. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah, because awesome. this is this one's raising money for uh, Christie House, which does work yeah. for child abuse and human trafficking, and I thought i got to show up for that, and I hope the car goes for a lot of money, so... Yeah, yeah. Well, you are such a prolific creator, producer, and obviously an actor. <laughs> Tell me about some of the things you've been doing. Enough of Keith, like, who is that guy? i got a show coming out um, on Paramount Plus um, called Lioness. It's Special Ops Lioness, and it's actually a really cool um, show about women who are in the military and the CIA, and it's tough and uh, action-packed, and it's also uh, very, very new for me, but it's Taylor Sheridan's uh, new show that I produced with him. Um, so it's a, pretty, it's, a, it's a pretty great ride, I have to say. Well, that's absolutely unbelievable. So watch it. It's yeah. out July, July Absol 23rd. July 23rd. Let's all watch that. But in a minute, we're going to watch something we're special. Gonna watch this. You're going to go up to the block and yeah, help us sell. I'm a bit embarrassed. <laughs> a car for a great cause. Yes. Nicole I'm going to do my best. Thank you so Let's much. Let's raise some money. Love it to see you. Lovely Let's to see you. Take it back up to Rick. Thank you. This is the Demon 170. Now, this is a great opportunity for a great cause. Before we run the video, I just want to tell you, this is the actual car you're looking at in Vegas that they dropped out of the helicopter for the launch. 
If you haven't bought one already, you cannot get one of these. The car is gonna be in a color that you get to pick as long as it's any PPG color that they painted any of the other Chrysler cars. So it is a one-off car going for a great cause. Amanda, we wanna run the video first and then Amanda will tell you about it. The first time it happened was at a party. It was in the bathroom while everyone was eating their food. He said that I was special and that this was our secret. I think about it a lot. It's something that stays with you forever. One in four girls and one in six boys will be sexually abused before their 18th birthday. Human trafficking is a $32 billion plus plus industry in the United States alone. Without a place like Christie House, the trauma that these child victims face would stay with them forever. My name is Amanda Alvin and I am the CEO of Christie House, which is a magical place where we work to heal ch children by providing the best evidence-based therapy and coordinating their medical legal care that they need and advocating for them. We couldn't do it though without people like you at events like this bidding on beautiful cars. So please today bid often and bid high. Craig? Well we have a special guest here. When we were walking through the cars yesterday, Nicole Kipman, I told her about the charity. She said she wanted to come help. Nicole, please give a Barrett Jackson welcome to Nicole Kentman. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me here. Um, yes, I was here with my husband yesterday, and I heard about auctioning this car from this good man. And I said, please, can I come back and try to get extra money, extra money for the car, for, the, for Christie House, because they do extraordinary work. Well, Joseph, let's go. Thank you, Nicole. You right, got a one-off car. Well, this is the last call. Factory ordering is sold out on these, and only 3,300 will be built. You get the 6.2-liter V8 D170 engine uh, that gives this car its name, topped with a supercharger and rated at 1,025 horsepower. Drag racing suspension, yellow painted engine block, Rembo four piston brakes, rear body flares, performance spoiler, high intensity discharge headlamps. And in stock form, the NHRA says you can't run this the way it is, not without a roll cage and everything else. 8.91 seconds at 151 miles an hour ET. So, you get to choose the exterior color, as Greg pointed out, and 100% of the money raised benefits Chrissy House. Hemi's ever built. This is an opportunity. This car should go into a museum. This is the end of the road and a one on one and a charity car to a great cause. What else you want? And a kiss from Nicole Kidd. And tickets to Keith Urban's show. There you go. Well, now we're talking. All right, now we've upped the ante. I mean, the reality is they're donating to a wonderful cause and they're getting a car at the same time. So, 
Nicole Kidman hammers it sold. Every penny going to Christie House for that 2023 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. A big hug up on the block. Please be careful. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, yes, sir. Whoa, whoa, I heard some on. noise up top. Right here. Right here, Craig. He wants to donate the car back and do it again. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, moments ago, we saw this 2023 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon 170 sell for a great cause for Christie's house, $400,000. But then the gentleman who bought it, he whispers back into the bidder's assistant ear, says, let's do it again. He donated it back. And of course, Nicole Kidman up on the block donated more tickets to her husband's show the second time around. It raised $300,000, a total of $700,000 no, no, no. to benefit Christie House to help provide treatment, advocacy for kids who have been through childhood trauma. Dwayne, your generosity is unbelievable, like incredible. Why was this, why was this so important to you? Well, I just feel like this country needs to step up and we need to start supporting each other again, you know? So I, I saw an opportunity to get some real money over to the kids. Here we are. Absolutely wonderful. Amanda, lots of excitement, lots of energy up there, but what you do is really serious stuff and the work that you do is very, very impactful. How does this really help you? Well, we provide all of our services free of charge at Christie House, so we need people like this to step up and really help us out and it makes a huge impact on the children we serve and we serve over 2,000 children a year. And how in a practical sense will this really help your mission? Absolutely. We'll be able to hire more therapists. We'll be able to serve more children. We'll be able to expand our services and expand our reach. We're serving over 2,000 kids a year at Christie House, but we know we're only scratching the surface. There are so many more who need our help and so many more programs we can offer. Craig, there's three things near and dear to your heart. Veterans, cancer, and children. This Absolutely. is very personal for you. The, what they do down in Florida, you've got such trafficking going on. Very important, abuse and trafficking. Mr. Patankin, thank you very much for donating the car. Uh, it takes this whole spirit, and we need to stop this child abuse, child trafficking. These are our kids. Yeah. Nicole, quite an entry for you into the collector car hobby. Both an exciting moment, but also, you know, a poignant and personal moment. Yeah, I just, I'm exactly with you where we need to come together and help this country, help the children in it. And this was a way in which I could just show up and, and do my bit, which I just want to keep doing and doing and doing. So thank you. Well, your generosity does not go unnoticed. It's wonderful that you came out here. You know, she was here yesterday looking at cars and having fun. And Craig said, well, why don't you come and help us sell yeah. a car for a great cause? No, and she said... Wrong. She yes, volunteered as we were walking by the car. I told her the story of the charity cars that she goes, well, can I come help? So very generous. Uh, people make those statements all the time. She actually came back, showed up, and did it. And they called early this morning to make sure we were all coordinated. So thank you very much. All of you here, all of you here, your incredible generosity does make a difference. And thank you very much. Take it back Dwayne is always spectacular. Thank you. Back to the block.